So I was just saying how we're really missing rights of initiation. And that's a big theme that I'm noticing, even what, what Jason was speaking about earlier about, you know, as a boy, he was in the scouts and he did martial arts. And so he had a lot of exposure to, to more of our modern day rights of initiation or rights of passage, but on a very large scale, a lot of people haven't met the rites of passage that we require. So, you know, girls, when we bleed, it's an initiation, it's a rite of passage, but it's, it's, it's become so distorted where, you know, we're told, oh, it's painful, oh, it's a terrible thing. And uh, we're medicated or we're given tampons and just all of the ritual and all of the initiation that menstruation brings to a woman's life has been completely ripped out of our, our cultural sphere. So often when people kind of come to me, they're at a point where they are acknowledging that they have not been afforded the correct rites of passage that they need in order for their, for their soul to mature. And um, the Soul Crafting, the book by Bill, Colin, I can't remember his name now off the top of my head. It will come to me. Um, but in the book Soul Crafting, the author discusses how we have, we're basically like adult children because we haven't been put through the correct rites of passage in order to mature into adulthood. And so we're like these mature, are these adult children who haven't gone through the correct layers of initiation and in the cultures that kind of precede the Abrahamic religions, the rites of passage that were involved were all nature-based. And these traditions still remain in a lot of the Native American cultures and in the Amazonian cultures. You know, they've got a big emphasis on rites of passage, also very much in some of the, the remaining tribal African cultures there is still that ethos there. But what I'm witnessing is that people are actually craving it. They're, they're craving a rite of passage where their ability gets to be challenged, very much like what your, your reflection on your first tobacco ceremony, you know, it was so intense, you, but you were, you were capable of that. You were capable of meeting that level of challenge. And through that, you go through this very quick maturation. So you're maturing in that space. So now your understanding of your capacity has just grown tremendously. So with the combination of the space that I create, I want to create spaces for rites of passage. I want women or the men that do come to experience a level of challenge as well as a level of initiation through through the the scope of the space so being in nature being outdoors working with the elements working with the rain if it's raining working with the cold if it's cold you know really just being able to be part of the natural world and be part of that level of initiation and i think a lot of the cultural sickness that we're witnessing in people and a lot of the anxiety and the depression and the disconnection, it, it all stems from a sense of disconnection, ultimately. This deep sense of disconnection from purpose, from meaning, from community, from connection. This is what the root of all, all sickness is, ultimately, I believe. And so when people come, they're like craving craving a, a reintroduction to initiation or rites of passage. And that's what we do with the, the type of space that I hold. We create rites of passage for people.